Okay guys, so it has been a very rough day. We are at 4 p.m. now and I'm finally getting to the gym. I was supposed to get to the gym at 11 o'clock after I fed Tash. He, we woke up around 9.30, I fed him, I pumped. Actually, I used a new pump and I wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about that. I used the, I'm joking you guys, I, 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 told, I was telling Jalila about it a few, um, I think like a week ago and then she purchased it and I was like, let me know if you like it. I heard it's really good. And she's like, she texts me in excitement like, oh my God, it works so great. And then I got excited. I was like, okay, I got to try it. I had like, a, I have to go back to religiously pumping. Plus I want some help. Like I can't even go to the gym for more than an hour because my husband needs me back so I can feed my son. So I'm thinking now that I am pumping religiously again. My son is off formula completely. I can start like freezing some milk. I heard that I, for the longest time. I'm like, how do people freeze their freaking milk? And then I found out that it was because they were using those hospital graded pumps that like make you produce way more. So um, I'm excited about that. I'm gonna start producing more hopefully and then I can start freezing and then I can start taking some time at the gym, like maybe two hours and maybe jumping in the spa because I just need to relax sometimes, okay? And I need this me time. I need a good two hours out of at least a week where I take some time to myself. So. So my Taji is now taking a really long nap. This is his longest nap of the day. And I have another hour, but I'm only gonna be here for like 40 minutes. I'm gonna go home, shower up. He should be awake. Well, actually, I'm gonna go home, pump, then shower. He should be awake by that, and then you know, we can get our day uh going. But we I think we have to go to a car dealership today and then a few different things, but it's gonna be a very busy day. We're not doing anything fun. I think tomorrow we're gonna go out we'll see but i just i just need a break you guys like seriously like this mom thing is exhausting i don't know how people do it and they don't complain like i listen maybe it's because i work and i you know i raise a child so technically like people think oh you're on social media you don't work you don't have jobs but like we do have jobs we work every single day our job never stops and the only difference is, yeah, we're not making content 24 hours a day. Sometimes we get some, some breaks in between here and there. And we're not locked into a 8 to 5. That's true. But we still we still have to work. Like, our emails have to get done. You know what I mean? Somebody has to answer all 100 emails that come in on the weekends. And I'm not exaggerating when I say 100 emails. Like, if I go a week without answering my emails, there are easily 100 emails. And... If I go like a month without answering emails, which I have fairly done, I've done it many times, it has gone up to like four or 500 emails and it is insane. I would sit there for maybe two, three days answering them. So yeah, we have jobs. This is not um, your, your typical kind of job, but we definitely have to lock in or we definitely have to clock in on our own time, answer emails, make content. And it's not just making content. It's also editing the content, and that takes several hours. So now I'm at the gym, getting a workout in, because I'm fat. Well, that's not a nice word to describe myself. I'm just a little overweight, and everybody knows that. Okay, so I'm here getting healthy at the gym, all right? And hopefully we see some progress soon, because the girl is, is not fitting in any of her clothes. But I have a question for you guys, okay? So... Originally, originally I was supposed to go to Hawaii, but I can't go to Hawaii anymore because I'm going to Michigan. But I don't consider Michigan a vacation, so where should I go that's close to Michigan? And I'm imagining it's somewhere in Europe, but where? And I want to go somewhere tropical. A little bit of city is okay, but definitely not all city. I need to freaking relax on the beach, wiggle my toes in the sand. <laughs> I don't know anyways, but... um. I'm not going to Hawaii anymore, so we can cancel that out till maybe a different time. Plus, I think it'd be with all the, the crowds there, and I don't think it would be as enjoyable. But we are finishing up our renovations soon. Like in the next two weeks, our floors are going to be installed, and we won't have to renovate anymore. I think we have to do our backyard too, but that's like a week process. I think we have a deadline on it too, like our HOA forces us to do the backyard. And our deadline is approaching in August. 
focus, which is so annoying because if you don't do the backyard renovation, then you're literally gonna get fined. And I don't know how much it is, but I know it's a good amount, so a lot going on. And I'm trying to do all this before August because that's when I wanna travel. Okay guys, I got this comment a lot. And while it's true, okay, I don't have time for that. <laughs> I really don't. I'm not gonna make my son wait on a insurance covered pump, even though that would have been smart to do before I had him. But now he's here. Like I, I tried to get my LV pump and they did, I don't know if they were gonna cover it. I can't remember, but my point is it's too late for that. While I think this is a really good question for your doctor, I will answer it. Um, I like Think Baby. I use it with Taj. Um, I do think there's another Stella brand is pretty good too. But I don't know about the rest, so don't ask me any more questions. Thank you. So I actually asked his doctor about that one and she did say that she recommends using one with zinc and not one that has a bunch of other ingredients. So she also suggested that anything that's watery liquidy you know very um light to the skin is better for him so i took matters into my own hand and started using that one i also got her approval for it so she said that one was great um but yeah if you have a different one you guys recommend let me know in the comments i 100 percent agree with you faiza using an on-the-go pump is convenient and very good as you should pump every two hours but i like using the new hospital graded one when I'm at home. Okay, and I'm at home pretty good. Like I'm mainly home throughout the week. I don't go out till like after five. So yeah, this is a good comment. I'm, I wanted to pin it because I wanted my followers to, to take your advice as well. Okay guys, what better advice than to take one from a postpartum nurse, okay? I love this comment and it's exactly why I could not use the LV any longer when I was at home. I like the LV for on the go, I'm still gonna use it. But if I go back in time and not get it at all, I probably wouldn't have. But 100% I agree, because the hospital grade pumps are way stronger and they're gonna basically empty you out. Versus the LV pump won't do the same. It's not gonna empty you out completely. It's not strong enough to do that. And my son is not great, so that's why I have to use a hospital graded pump now. Okay, yes, we, we were giving him formula. We were actually supplementing formula. Some days were better than others, obviously. So the most he would get was like two to five ounces a day of formula. But he would get more breast milk. Does that make sense? But it's called supplementing. So if you don't make enough, you still have to supplement to give your baby food. I mean, you're not going to make him starve. And while I have no problem with formula, it actually hurt his stomach. And he was... Having one too many blowouts for mama to handle. So I'm just assuming it's not good for his tummy. So that's why I want to go back to strictly pumping again. But I do this every once in a while, okay? I have to supplement and then I have to stop supplementing and then go back to religiously pumping. So we're back into this, uh, basically this uh, dilemma where I have to religiously pump again, which is annoying, but I'll, I'll have to do what I can to make sure my son's happy. So many people asked me this question, you guys, and they asked why Taj, or why Kareem calls Taj Baba. And actually, it is a cultural thing, I think. I think in the Arabic culture, at least in the Arab culture, we do that. We tend to do that. Our parents did it. Like, my mom calls me mama. And I'm like, mama, what's wrong? And then my mom would look at me and go, nothing's wrong. I'm like, I'm not talking to you. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I think I should just start calling him Taj, so he knows his name is Taj. <laughs> I do call him Taj, but I've come to a habit where I call him mama, so I need to stop. But it is a cultural thing, it's true. Okay, so I did 45 minutes at 400 calories and two and a half, no, two miles in 20.24, okay? That's the best I can do. Okay, so I did 45 minutes at 400 calories and two and a half. So I'm picking out an outfit for Mr. Taj. I'm really upset. This one got really wrinkly in the wash and I didn't even dry it. I only hung dry it or hang dried it, whatever. But there's this one too. I kind of like this color on him. What do you guys think? Which one? Okay, guys, this is one of the outfits. Look, look. Yeah, let me try to, uh, turn on the lights. Oh my gosh. Hey, buddy. 
Okay, guys, this is one of the outfits. Look, look. Yeah, let me try to uh, turn on the lights. Oh gosh. Hey, buddy. Okay, guys, this is one of the outfits. Look, look. Yeah, let me try to uh, turn on the lights. Oh gosh. Hey, buddy. Okay, guys, this is one of the outfits. Look, look. Yeah, let me try to uh, turn on the lights. Oh gosh. Hey, buddy. Okay, guys, this is one of the outfits. Look, look. Yeah, let me try to uh, turn on the lights. Oh gosh. Hey, buddy. Okay, guys, this is one of the outfits. Look. Look. Yeah, let me try to uh, turn on the lights. Oh my gosh. Hey, buddy. Okay, guys. This is one of the outfits. Look. Look. Yeah, let me try to uh, turn on the lights. Oh my gosh. Hey, buddy. Okay, guys. This is one of the outfits. Look. Look. Yeah, let me try to uh, turn on the lights. Oh my gosh. Hey, buddy. Okay, guys. This is one of the outfits. Look. Look. Yeah, let me try to uh, turn on the lights. Oh my gosh. Hey, buddy. Okay, guys. This is one of the outfits. Look. Look. Yeah, let me try Finally left the house, and we were going to the car dealership. And, um, yeah, so we'll see what we're gonna go eat for dinner. I'm starving. <laughs> Are we gonna go anywhere nice today, Kareem? Hopefully. I don't know. We'll see. I just know this car dealership is about an hour away. Did you have fun at the car dealership? <laughs> Did you have fun at the car dealership? He's having a blast here, you guys. And, by the way, he had a blowout on the way here. And I literally had to hand dry and wash his freaking car seat cover, which is right there. But it's dry now, so it's good to go. But he's such a bad boy. He's such a bad boy. He's such a bad boy. Okay, don't yell. Don't yell. This is a public environment. It's <laughs> So somebody fell asleep. He's, he's literally knocked out. <laughs> Mom's oh, he's so cozy. So I'm putting this guy to sleep right now. He just took a bath and then he's in his pajamas. And I'm glad I took him a bath because he had a but I want to share something that was so touching today, you guys. And um uh oh. Normally people will they'll have a very biased opinion about who he looks like. But the sales associate that saw us today has never met Taj. She's never met any of us, but she saw me and Kareem with Tash today and she looked at me and said, oh, he looks just like you. And I said, really? She's like, he sure does. I was like, oh my goodness. That just makes mama's.